So once again, once these things build up and have nowhere to go, they'll find a resting place and they'll grow. And that's where we end up having to, you know, things like uh, tumors start to grow. And the, the dangerous thing about that is that the body actually will, com- you know, pretty much form like a capillary or a blood vessel that will actually be used by that tumor or by that cancer to feed it in order to allow it to grow and keep on producing more cancer. So that's why I recommend big time doing the coffee enemas because once you um, stimulate the bowel ducts to release the toxins from the liver, the liver can now get the toxins that's sitting there saturating in the lymph nodes and pull them to the liver. When they pull to the liver, the liver can again flush them out of your system. You know, so um, when you do a coffee enema, there's a certain procedure to doing it. And um, that might be done for another video, but I can go ahead and explain it in this particular case. So like me in my case, what I do is I have them get organic coffee grounds. You put it in a saucepan or a pan or a pot, whichever you may have. You know, put two or one tablespoon to maybe two or three cups of water. And you pretty much let that simmer for maybe about um, 10 minutes. And what you want to do after 10 minutes is take it off and let it sit and get to room temperature. But also what you can do is um, if you want it to cool down quicker, you can take it and just pretty much uh, put a few cubes of ice in it and stir it around and get it down to body temperature. And you put it in a, uh, a douche bag. And actually, actually what it's called, it's, uh, it's a douche bag. You can get these at Walgreens and they're pink and they have a line that comes down to it. So anyway, long story short, what you do pretty much with this is that it goes into your rectum. And for women, because of how your anatomy is a lot different than men, women, you would lay down on your side and you would insert the uh, piece into your rectum. And you would pretty much unleash this little um, tab that would allow the coffee to fully flow in and you do take in the whole bag and what you want to do after that is once it's all in you want to turn and pretty much uh, have your face down and butt up and the reason why I say do that is because by being in that position like that you're allowing the uh, the the coffee to go down into your system and make its way to your bile ducts where the liver is now what I do recommend is that for people to stay in that position for at least uh, 12 max 15 minutes and the reason why is because the blood circulates through the liver every three minutes okay and so while it's circulating there it's pretty much bringing toxins and waste to the liver and it's letting it pretty much uh, get there and build up there so by, by it doing that you're in a position to where you're getting ready pretty much you stimulate the bowel ducts right and you're going to have a strong urge, not everybody, but a lot of people do. You have a strong urge to want to release it. It's going to be like that. Uh, my wife says, you know, uh, their stomach hurts real bad. It's going to be, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced this to where if you ever experienced to where you had to use the bathroom really bad. In some people cases, take that and times it by 10. I mean, you're really going to have to hold it. I mean, if it comes to you having, I mean, I, you know, you're uh your anus, your sphincter, or your butt, you're pretty much going to have to clench real tight, and it comes in these waves. It gets real, real, real intense, and I tell people to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, clench down as much as you can, and then it kind of goes off. But you're in that position doing that, allowing the blood to circulate through your system at least, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, at least, you know, uh, five times of bringing toxins to the liver, uh, you know, five times. And then what you do is you sit up on the toilet and you release. And you could probably be sitting on the toilet anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes because your body, it comes in waves. You're going to release what you have in there immediately. And then you sit there and after some time, you're going to feel have that sensation of having to have a bowel movement again. And you're going to release it. Now, a lot of people become really weirded out when they see what comes out of their body, it's some of the most disgusting things you would see. It doesn't it don't just necessarily look like feces or poop. It looks like something that's not supposed to be in your body, and which I call like almost like plaque like, you know, or it's called like muc mucoid uh, type uh, substance that comes out of you. And 
um, it's a pretty scary thing. And what that mucoid or that plaque-like substance does, it lines your colon walls. And when it lines your colon walls, it allows for the most minimum amount of absorption of nutrients to take place. So by eradicating that out of your body, you allow your colon to pretty much be completely clean. So when you do take in the juice from the carrot and the, uh, the juice that I'm going to uh, pretty much recommend that most people do, your body is going to pretty much be able to absorb that at a maximum level. You know, so it's pretty crucial that you include the coffee enemas in it too, especially if you at an end stage, three stage, four stage. I mean, I don't care what stage. If it's cancer and you find that you have it in your body, I recommend you do it anyway. Just get rid of the stuff because your body can heal itself of natural diseases that occur. So um, as of right now, um, if there's any questions or concerns or comments, um, for family, you know who I am. You guys, most of you guys have my number. If you know of any friends, any family, other family members, uh, any associates that might be having any issues, go ahead and shoot me a text and I'll try my best to answer to the best of my ability. And I'll go a little bit more in detail in what juicing, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what juicing does to the body, the nutrients and the vitamins that's within the juice, what it does when it enters your body. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention was the baking soda with molasses and water. I'll mention all those things and tell you what they do. But as of right now, if you are dealing with or you just got news that you got cancer, you know, shoot me a text. Let me know what's going on and I'll do my best to try to help you get yourself back to health. Um, other than that, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. And I will continue to do my best to make sure that you all can live a very healthy, well, high quality of life. This doesn't mean that this is the end at all. Let's get this going.